from back in the day, M.A. Superpower, yo-yo inspired, guaranteed to make you smile. The one, the only. Ooh, oh yeah, 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 hands up, stand strong, together, gotta believe in, head up, have fun, stay strong, you gotta live in positivity. Now the man's rocking on, Jenny's got the hat. Got a cool pair of kicks, you can count on that. Word. Can't find a better friend, cat or pooch. Here's the B-Rock, superpower ooch. Now this here's a lesson that he's got to teach. When you dream big, baby, nothing's out of your reach. Dream big, baby. Someone come step into your self-esteem. You gotta spin it to win it. You're on the ooch team. That's right, we got this team of winners. We're going straight to the top. Ooch, oh yeah, ooch, oh yeah, ooch, oh yeah. You don't need to have a cape. It's the things you're good at, your talents, your traits. You'll be doing things you never knew that you could. But always use your powers for the forces of good. But those talents don't work. You can't even imagine what you could do. That must be told. It doesn't matter if you're young or you're old. With music, dance, laughter, and jokes, you will change the world. Ask Booch, he knows. That's why right, we're gonna keep it real positive. We're gonna change the world. Ooh, oh yeah, ooh, oh yeah, ooh, oh yeah. Hi everyone! How are we feeling about our last night of the series? What do we think? Oh my goodness! Come on! Can I get at least like one little round of applause? Oh! Oh, good job! Good job! Good job! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight. We're so excited to have been able to offer this series and a huge thank you to Ooch, of course. Uh, but we also have a few other people to thank. First of all, thank you to the Scottish Rite Museum for letting us use this wonderful space. Um, thank you to Lex Media for live streaming. So if you know anyone who unfortunately could not be here tonight, let them know that they can catch this on Lex Media. Uh, we also wanna thank the Lexington Police Department for being a huge sponsor for this event and making this possible as well as the Lexington Recreation Department and specifically Christine Dean. I would like to thank her. She brought Ooch here um, and we're all so lucky that she was able to bring this here. Um, tonight is all about inclusion and that is something that the Lexington Recreation Department feels very strongly about. We always strive to have very inclusive environments and make everyone feel welcome and accepted. So we're so excited for you to all be able to learn some tips and tools tonight. And you'll see on your way out, there's a QR code that you can scan and that has some tips that you can bring into your life that you've learned from Ooch um, so that you can practice them. And if you forget them, you can just look at your handy dandy QR code that you scanned and take a look at those tools. Uh, so without further ado, welcome Ooch. Thank you very much. That was a great intro. Really nice. Thank you.
All right, hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Okay, so this is the third and final show of my, of my limited run. Uh, plan on taking this baby nationwide. I'm actually going on vacation in a couple days. I'm going to North Carolina, I'm very excited. I'm gonna try to spread the ooch message out there as well. But right now, I'm here with you, and I'm very excited. So the first thing, uh, I wanna, thanks man, appreciate that. To you I say, aw, yeah, cool. So, uh, oh, I remember you. Okay, so uh, first things first, uh, I think we've all been here before. I, I, I'm pretty sure we've all seen each other before, so I don't really need to re-explain who I am, which is good because we can save time and get to the really good stuff. Uh, but just the short, like just the cliff notes here. Uh, nickname's Ooch, not the real name. The real name is Bread. Um, and that's pretty much it. So call me Bread and, uh, you know, or Bread Pasta. I also answer to that. And uh, yeah. Uh, the two things we do in my show is we point at each other and we ooch. Those are like the two big things that we do. Uh, but we, we don't point like mean to each other. We do it like in kind of a cool way. It's called the ooch point. Fingers out just like this. Take one finger, pull it back, nod your head and say, aw, yeah. You do that when you get excited about something and you just want to let someone know you're happy to see them or, you know, you're proud of yourself or you're proud of them. You know, these guys, I'm glad they came tonight. So to you, I say, aw, yeah. Heck, I'm glad everybody came tonight. So to you, I say, aw, yeah. Parents, don't, that's a good aw, yeah. I gotta tell you, that's like the, one of the best ones in the audience. Hey, uh, adults, remember, you can use this move with your kids too. If you catch them doing something really great or you're, you know, I don't know, putting them to bed, uh, you feel free to be like, aw, yeah. Okay, so uh, tonight's show is called The Collection. And it's all about including others, okay? Now, I know a thing or two about being left out because when I was a kid, I wasn't this cool. No, I was even weirder, which isn't a bad thing. It's just because I was a little different, I tended to get left out a lot. And uh, I think if people didn't judge me by how I appeared or some of the, you know, then I think they might have found a really good friend in me. And so tonight we're gonna to talk about what it's like to be left out, what it's like to include people, but most importantly, our collections. How many of you collect things by a show of hands? All right, hands down. Here's the question. Can anybody tell me why we collect things? What's the reason, what's the point? You in the very last row. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to collect things, right? I mean, if you like one thing, why not have more of the same thing, right? That's good. What's another reason why we collect things? Uh, with the sparkly shirt. Um, because you bring, like, life more memories of like, the family you with them, so, like, you Whoa. Wow, you're, you're, like, thinking way ahead. I like it. <laughs> She's like, you know, you can, like, make lifelong memories and then pass them down to your children. It's pretty cool. And deep. Oh, yeah. It's good. What's another reason why we collect things? What's, why, why do we collect things? You in the blue. Wait, wait a minute, what? Yeah, if you're curious about them and you just want, yeah, you can collect them, that's exactly right. Why do you collect things? Dude, that's actually a good point. How many of you collect things because you know they're gonna be worth something someday? You're like, this baseball card is gonna be worth so much money. All I have to do is make sure my mother doesn't sell it at a yard sale when I move out. How many of you guys uh, collect things? Yeah, uh, just uh, how many of you collect? Here's, I'm just going to ask stuffed animals. Do we have any people who collect stuffed animals? Not going to lie. I have some stuffed animals. All right, hands down. You know why I like them? Fluffy. Oh, yeah. There's no reason why you can't stick a, you know, a stuffed animal in your pants when you're doing yo-yo tricks. That way, if you fall down, it's, you know, Fluffy. Ah, the inside jokes. Anyways, uh, how many of you collect rocks? Who hasn't collected? I mean, seriously, we all collect rocks. It's so funny. Uh, they, they rock, right? Uh, let's see here. I collect yo-yos. I don't think that's a surprise to you. I'd like to tell you how many yo-yos I have in my collection. I have over a thousand yo-yos in my collection. Yeah, because yo-yos are easy to collect. And what I like about yo-yos is that they all basically do the same thing, but there's a huge variety. Every yo-yo is a little bit different. You guys have seen some of the different yo-yos that I've used in my shows, right? They all have different properties. Remember Pooch and Scooch? 
Those are really good for walk the dog. I have another yo-yo, which is just a good general all-around yo-yo, which is this one right here. Haven't given it a name, but I love this yo-yo because it does all the, the tricks that I like to do, and it does them well. Check it out. Elevator. Last week, we talked about leveling up. Oh, and they all do spinny thingy. How many of you guys went home, found your yo-yo, and you were like, Mom, Dad, you're not going to believe this. Check it out. Look, it's pretty thingy. And they were totally let down. Yeah, that's cool. Rising spinny thingy. Anybody? Did you do that at home? How many of you went home and got your yo-yo and did drag the dog? Any drag the doggers? How many of you did the, the carnival swing set ride? Any of these? Straight to helicopter, pretty much? Got it. Okay, no problem. All right, so I love these yo-yos because they all do different things. Uh, they all are uh, fun. And I think, why not have more? Because the more, the merrier. How many of you have ever, uh, have friends? How many of you have friends? Just out of curiosity. Very good, hands down. I need to tell you something. We don't just collect things. We also collect friends. And I want you to think about this. Each one of us has a friend collection. Raise your hand if you're realizing now, oh my gosh, I have a friend collection. I collect people. Weird. Okay, you wanna hear something even weirder? You're in somebody's friend collection. Creepy. All right. So, it feels good to be invited places. Raise your hand if you like to be invited to parties. Yeah, raise your hand if you like to be called first to be on your friend's team. Raise your hand if you've ever been left out of something and it was really, felt terrible, it felt terrible, yeah? All right, this is what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about being left out and why that's not a good thing and why it's important that no matter what you think someone is like, you have to take them for a spin. Check it out. Did you know people and yo-yos are actually really similar? Think about it. Every yo-yo has a different quality that makes it kind of cool, just like people, right? Yo-yos come in different sizes, colors, forms, shapes, just like people. But here's the best part. You can't know how awesome a yo-yo is until you literally take it for a spin. Because not every yo-yo is gonna work well for you. You might try a yo-yo and it just doesn't come back when you pull it. That's not a good match for you. No matter how cool the yo-yo looks, you have to take it for a spin. Raise your hand if that makes sense. You can't look at it and know if it's gonna work for you. Same with people. I can look at you and go, well, you're, you look really cool, but I don't really know. I have to take it for a spin. See what I'm saying? We gotta get to know each other. You're probably cool, but I don't know that for sure. And the other thing is whether you're cool or not, you seem cool, we might not be a match, but I have to try. Dude, what's your name? Alec. Alec. You know what? I've been willing to, I've been willing to just be like, hey man, let's, let's, get, let's get some coffee. You drink coffee, right? Okay, cool, good start. <laughs> Raise your hand if you understand you have to take people for a try before you can judge them. Hands down, have you, ever, have you ever seen someone and you thought they looked really weird and you were like, yeah, that person's weird. And then you hung out with them and you're like, that person's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, that's why you gotta try them. How many of you ever saw someone who looks like they're gonna be no fun at all? You're like, that's lame. And then you hang out with them and you're like, that person was amazing. And then the flip side, you go to hang out, like you see someone who looks super fun and you go hang out with them and all of a sudden they're just no fun at all. It was all an illusion. You can't know until you give them a, a spin. Raise your hand if you understand. All right, let's go, let's do this. Quickly review. Last week, we learned how to make a mistake. How many types of mistakes are there? Two, little and what? What's the first thing you do when you make a mistake? My mistake. How many of you guys made a mistake recently and you did the move? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. How many of you made a big mistake and went through the whole moves, all the moves? Did you do the whole thing? Okay, you did? All right, nice. Step one, my mistake. Step two, admit it. That was all me. That was, that was a terrible idea. Step three, I'm so sorry. Step four, how do I fix it? Step five, I love me. Mistakes are normal. And step six, I learned. Oh yeah, then you level up. Okay, very good. Okay, let's get straight into it. Every time I show you a yo-yo from my collection tonight, I want you to think of a friend that you have in your collection that reminds you of that, okay? Of that yo-yo. Starting with yo-yo number one, this yo-yo right here. This is the original yo-yo. This is the yo-yo my dad gave me. 
before I went off to a summer camp. Now, you're probably looking at this yo-yo and thinking, wow, there's like literally nothing on it. It's because I wore the paint off of it because I used it so much. It had a jewel, it has a jewel right here. It's not a real jewel, but on the other side, the jewel fell out. And I don't know if you can tell, I'll show it to the camera. There's a big old chunk right out of the side of the yo-yo. Take a look. You know how that happened? Around the world, outside, string broke. Yo-yo hit the cement, smash. Let me tell you how I got it. I was about to leave for a, a, a summer camp. How many of you guys have ever done a summer camp, but you had to actually stay there, like a sleepover summer camp? Ever done that? Okay. I was, yeah, it's really fun. I was about nine years old, okay? But I was going through my awkward stage. I thought it was pretty cool, but let me paint the picture. The day that my parents dropped me off at this camp, it was summer, I was wearing shorts and a tank top, which is good so far, except it was a mesh tank top, but it was only half mesh and on the top and then half mesh on the bottom. Creamsicle, like swirl. Okay, gets worse. Tube socks to the knees. Rings, bracelets, friendship bracelets. I had like one. That was a test. Braces, Donald Duck trucker cap. Airbrush though, it was like an airbrush Donald Duck. I thought I was the coolest guy ever. Oh my gosh, if I had a picture, I'd show you. There is a picture out there, by the way. Maybe I'll put it online one of these days so you guys can check it out. So I was a little nervous that when I went off to camp for the first time, I would have a hard time making friends. So I literally said to my dad, Dad, I'm nervous and I'm gonna have a hard time making friends. And my dad said, Brett, you're a good guy. People are gonna like you right away. You're funny and you're easy to be friends with. And I said, ah, oh, thanks, Dad. And then like three seconds went, went by and I went, yeah, but what if I don't make any friends? And he looked at me and he goes, you're going to be fine. You're going to make friends. You won't have any problems. And I was like, okay, thanks, Dad. But, but what if I don't make any friends? And so we did that a couple times. And it was like magic. Out of his pocket, he goes, well, if you're having a hard time making friends, use this. It was a brand new yo-yo. It had like a, like a picture of like an eagle on it or something. And it had, the, you know, the bling and everything. And I was like, oh my gosh, Dad, that's amazing. I have no idea where it came from, but it was like a movie. It just came out of nowhere. And it was like, ah. And so he holds this out and I go, Dad, that's awesome. What is it? And he looks at me and he goes, it, it's a yo-yo. And I went, cool. What does it do? I didn't know what a yo-yo was. It was my first time seeing a yo-yo. And he goes, really? And I go, yeah. He says, come on outside. Takes me outside. My dad shows me the three big tricks. He shows me walk the dog. He shows me rock the baby. He shows me around the world. Ugh. And he looks at me and he goes, here, take this. And uh, you know what I could do? Spinny thingy. That's pretty much it. I was like, dad. I've done it. It's my latest creation. Remember that? And that's when Spinny Thingy was born. I, did, I could, didn't know how to do anything with the yo-yo. I could do drag the dog. You know, I could do endangering people's lives. Okay? I could do all those tricks, but I couldn't do any normal trick. But I had a day before I had to go to camp. So that whole day I practiced. And what I learned was very little. I learned how to do this. That's it. I could get the yo-yo to sleep, and that's it. So off to camp I go the next day. Fast forward, like a movie. The car takes off, the, 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 the dust settles, and it's just me with my suitcases and my creamsicle, you know, two-piece, you know, mesh getup. And I'm just like, kind of get there, put down my, and have you ever been like really nervous about something, so nervous that you kind of have to go to the bathroom? Like, like, you know what I mean? Raise your hand, I don't want to feel weird. Okay, hands down. So I was like so nervous, I kind of had to go to the bathroom because I could see, they remember this is summer, two volleyball courts. And just as I had feared, all of the kids on the volleyball courts totally knew each other. They already had their collection of friends and they weren't looking for new ones. 
So I got nervous and I said to someone, uh, can you show me where the bathroom is? And they pointed to the bathroom and I said, thank you. I went to the bathroom, felt way better, but was still nervous, came back out. And this is when it all started. I, was wanted, to, I wanted to get into the, the game. So I go over to the first volleyball court. You know what it looks like when someone's trying to get into a game, right? Raise your hand if you know what it looks like when someone's trying to get into your game. They're totally like this. Okay, I waited and waited and people saw me. They couldn't miss me. This outfit is hard to miss and they completely ignored me. What did I do? I asked and they said, sorry, this game's full. So from there, I went to the next volleyball court and I watched and I waited and I tried to get in and the same thing happened. No one invited me in, not a single person. Everybody looked at me, and you know what I think they did? I think they judged me. I'm pretty sure they looked at me and were like, yeah, yeah, that kid's not gonna help us win. I don't know, either way, I didn't get called. How do you think that made me feel? Yeah. Terrible, made me feel terrible. It's my first day, I gotta stay a whole week with these people. They already have their friends. And I have had zero success, so what did I do? I threw my yo-yo. Just like my dad told me. Started throwing my yo-yo. There was nothing else to do. Didn't have to go to the bathroom. So I'm throwing my yo-yo. And all of a sudden, I get a tap on the shoulder. And I turn around and there's this like random kid who also just got dropped off. And he goes, do you know where the bathroom is? He was nervous. And I, and I was like, actually I do. But here's the good part. Right before he tapped me on the shoulder, out of frustration, I just kind of threw my yo-yo and it came back. And I was like, did I just do something awesome? How many of you guys have ever done something awesome and you didn't realize it and then you had to like think about it and you're like, let me see if I, yep, I totally just did something awesome. I thought I had created a new trick, this trick right here, it's called the forward pass. In real life, I didn't actually create a new trick, but I thought I did. So here I am, okay, that was bound to happen. It's like 40 years old. <laughs> It's okay, we're fine, we're good, this is good. Is everybody okay? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so I'm throwing the yo-yo. I'm doing the move and I'm like doing it under my leg. This kid comes over, he taps me on the shoulder and he goes, do you know where the bathroom is? <laughs> and I said, yeah. This is probably gonna explode in your direction, just so you know. I was like, yeah, I totally know where it is. It's that way. <laughs> and I did the thing where I like pointed with the yo-yo and he goes, whoa, do that again. I was like, it's that way. <laughs> And he goes off to the bathroom. I'm feeling pretty cool. Some of the kids on the volleyball fields, uh, volleyball court saw me. So what happens next? No. No, I still got left out. There wasn't, they, I got left out. Okay, so now, fast forward to dinner. Me, Trey, cafeteria full of people I don't know. And now I'm like, uh, can I sit here? It would. No one had room for me. Even though I saw open spaces, I'd go over here and they're like, eh, and I'm like, okay. And I'd be like, oh, and they'd be like, eh, and I'd be like, oh. Nobody would even let me sit with them. So what did I do? I sat by myself. Just me, my yo-yo, and my food. <laughs> on the floor, yeah, <laughs> on the floor. And um, next thing I know, I get a tap on the shoulder. Remember the bathroom kid? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he goes, hey, remember me? And I was like, yeah. He goes, can you, do the, can you do that thing again? I'm like, what thing? He goes, you're the yo-yo guy, right? And I went, yes, I am. <laughs> he was like, yeah, do the thing. I'm like, you mean this thing? And he was like, yeah, that's the thing. And everybody's like, dude, check this out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And so, and then he's like, look, look, what else can you do? And I'm like, oh, uh, the, oh, hey. And he's like, eh, what else can you do? Guys, I was out of tricks. I only had one trick left. So I was like, spin it, thingy. <laughs> Didn't matter because at that point, everybody started to notice. And what, is that a ringtone? That's awesome. So the next thing I know 
everybody's coming over and they're like, do a trick, do a trick. And so I it's too late, the story's still long, but I ended up all of a sudden getting to introduce myself to new people because all of a sudden these people noticed something about me that was a little different, but they liked it. And therefore, I started to make friends. And it turns out that was one of the best summers I ever had. However, who was there when no one else was? The yo-yo. This is the thing that started it all. This, this yo-yo right here is the yo-yo that started my whole profession in yo-yoing because I knew something magical was about to happen with my life because this thing helped me meet new people and that's where it started. And that, now I'm here today. Okay, so raise your hand if you can remember your very first friend, your very first friend. All right, do you remember their names? Yeah. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna yell out their name at the same time in honor of our first friend. Okay, you ready? On three, you ready? One, two, three. That was powerful. That felt good. All right. So, yo-yo number one. Let's put it on. Let's put it in the place that it's supposed to be, and we'll get moving on with the rest of the show. All right. So here we go. Yo-yo number one in my friend collection, right here. Perfect. Now for yo-yo number two. Now remember, every yo-yo that I show you, I want you to think of a friend in your collection that reminds you of that yo-yo. Everyone has their first friend. You might have seen this one before, the little guy. How many of you have a friend in your collection that reminds you of this little yo-yo right here? This cute little yo-yo, it's adorable. You know why this is an important yo-yo to have? Because it kind of reminds me of me. Because I've always been little. How many of you are kind of little right now and you know it? Okay, it's all right, because there's really good things about being little, right? All right. So the little guy, the little girl, here it is. When I was growing up, I was always the smallest. And the funny part is now, even as an adult, I'm still the smallest. But that's okay, because in my friends' collections, I get to be the little guy. Now there's something, oh yeah, there's something kind of cool about being the little guy or the little girl, okay? We can fit into small places. We can scurry real fast. We're usually pretty good at climbing up things too, okay? And we're great hiders. All right, we, people need that in their friend collections. If you do not have a little guy or a little girl in your collection, I highly recommend looking for one. They're worth it, but don't be doing this thing. You'll never see them. You gotta be like, oh, there you are. Okay, so let me show you. When I was, uh, when I was growing up, a lot of people underestimated me because I was small. Just like this yo-yo right here. I wonder if you saw this yo-yo on a shelf, if you'd be willing to buy this yo-yo. I don't know though. If you didn't see me throw it, would you think this yo-yo was capable of doing all the tricks that a big yo-yo can do? Yes. Well, let's find out. Would you, for real, how many of you, if you saw this thing for the first time and you saw how small it is compared to other yo-yos, how many of you would, would think this can do all the tricks a big yo-yo can do? Okay, how many of you think, I don't think this yo-yo, it's kind of cute, but I don't think this can do everything. Right, okay. You can't know. Because what did I say about yo-yos and people? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Yo-yos and people are unpredictable. It is true though, that thing exploded in my face. It almost killed me. So here's the deal. Who, who said that? Oh man, Where, there's a deep voice coming from the little dude in the front. All right, nice. All right, so here we go. You have to throw it to know if it's gonna be a good yo-yo for you or if it can do the things all the big yo-yos can do. That's the only way you can know. You have to take it for a spin. So let's take it for the test. Can it do the basics? Elevator, check. Brain twister, check. Split the atom, oops, that was my bad. Split the, hold on, <laughs> there it is. Split the atom, oh, I know it goes for a long time. Oh yeah, that was my mistake, that was my mistake, okay. How about this one, trapeze, whoa. Double or nothing? Whoa. Triple. Oh. 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 Spin it, thank you. Figured I'd end that early. Okay, what else? Rock the baby. It's perfect for rock the baby. Turns out, look. It's literally a baby. Extreme baby rocking. 3D baby. Ah! I know, almost. Okay, 
I got another one. Check this one out. This one's called Spoiled Baby. This is for the baby that has, well, two cradles. Ooh. It's for the baby that likes to accessorize. This is my weekday cradle. Weekend cradle. Okay, cool. Ooh, remember this one? Eiffel Tower. Well, you know. My, my baby. I like to rock my baby in the Eiffel Tower, yeah. You know. French baby. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. So, we all know that this yo-yo can do really great things. So does that mean it's perfect for you? No, because guess what? There's something you don't know about this yo-yo. When I throw it, look what happens when I try to pull it back. Nothing. It doesn't come back. It's non-responsive. But if I do a bind, it comes back. So my point is this. You have to take a yo-yo for a spin before you know it's right for you. Same with people. Raise your hand if that all makes sense. All right, let's put it into place number two. Here we go. Let's put it over here. Perfect. Okay, yo-yo number three. Before we do it, let's make sure we all know how to yo-yo. Show me grip, grip. Flip. 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 flip, flip, whip. This time stick your tummy out when you do it. Grip, grip. Flip. 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 flip, flip, whip. I call it grip, flip, flip, and whip. Let's go, both hands. Grip, grip. flip, flip. Whip, I'm teaching you a new move tonight, okay? This move is called the inclusion move. This is what you do when you meet someone for the first time and you wanna take them for a spin. I highly recommend trying everybody out. I mean, not like random, random like strangers, you know, but like, you know, in school and stuff, you know, there's the kid who like typically is by themselves. Give him a chance, be like, hey you, come on over here, hang with me. Maybe not that kid then. Check it out, everybody go like this. Now go like this, now go like this. So it's one point, two of these, three of these. So it's one, two, one, two, three. You know what would have been cool is when I, was, when I went to camp, if the kids playing volleyball were like, hey, you, come here, play, come over here, be on my team. That would have been awesome. I would have loved that. I probably wouldn't have been great, but I would have at least had some new friends. If it's one person, she went, you, you, come on over here, hang, hang with me. That would have been amazing. I highly recommend trying out new people, all right? So here we go. Hey, you. Over here. Hang with me. Everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Here we go. You know what's coming next. It is now time to work it out. All right. That's good. Let's get ready. Here we go. Nod your heads. Nod. Good. Perfect. Shoulders. Here we go. Shoulders. All right. You ready? Here we go. Knees. Open up your heart. Toes. Here we go. Touch it out. Touch it out. Touch it out. Heads. Shoulders. Knees. Toes. All right. Let's yo yo. Here we go. Grip. Flip. Flip. Whip. Grip. Flip. Flip. Switch hands. Here we go. Grip. Flip. Flip. Whip. Grip. Flip. All right. Both hands. Let's go! Grip! Flip! Flip! Whip! Grip! Flip! Alright, show me what happens when you make a mistake! Now, if you weren't here last week, don't worry, just fake it. Ah, uh, yeah! Alright, here we go! New move! Here we go! You, come here! Hang with me! Hey, you! Come here! Here we go, step and clap. Come on. Good. All right, now, new moves. Well, they're old moves for me. Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. Here we go, good, good. Now brush it off, you know the move. Brush it off, brush it off, brush it off. Oh yeah, uh-huh, good. All right, check this one out. This one's different. Up, up, down, down, up. Double time, let's go, here we go! Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 here we go! Grip, flip, flip, whip, grip, flip! Alright, now let's get creative. Your trees. Children of the sky. 
It's wicked. Here's the deal. I have a yo-yo that is so rare, there were only 35 that were ever made. No. In the world. And it's in this little briefcase. Yeah, I bring it to work with me sometimes. People are like, what are you doing? I'm like, I have a little work to do. And I brought it on a plane once. I'm like, is this gonna fit in the... That's ridiculous. So anyways, I'm on a plane because I used to do a lot of traveling around the world, actually, for yo-yos. And I got this yo-yo, which is in this case. The name of this yo-yo is called The Card. And the person who made this was a uh, Japanese swordsmith. This person who made this made 35 of the yo-yo that you're gonna see in here. And there's only 35 in the whole world. Handmade. So when I pop this open, I'll show you the components. This is the rarest yo-yo in my collection. I don't know how much it's worth, but there's only a few of them. Okay, how many of you guys like Legos? You guys like Legos? Yeah, well this is kind of like, like a yo-yo Lego set. I have to assemble it. Raise your hand if you think this looks pretty awesome like right away, right? You'd want this yo-yo, right? Totally in your collection, I'm pretty sure. This yo-yo should remind you of someone. Your fancy friend. You know, the dramatic one. The one with all the flair. You don't have one? They're really easy to find. Okay, I'm gonna put this together and I'm gonna show you how awesome this yo-yo is. First thing is, it has pieces. I take these pieces, I put them together like so. I'm assembling the yo-yo. This is one yo-yo half. This takes a couple, like about a minute to put together. So bear with me. Here we go. It even comes with a little tool. It's like from Ikea or something. Okay, here we go. Now make note of this white disc on the outside of the yo-yo, because it's gonna play, play in later. One half of the yo-yo, done. Second half, here we go. I can already tell you this friend is a lot of maintenance. Remind you of anyone? Okay, here we go. I don't know. Here I go. Half number two. Axel. Did that on purpose. Check it out. Yeah, what's up? Why are there only 34 of them? Where are, the Where are they? Oh, that's such a good question. Well, I got this yo-yo probably about 15 years ago, maybe a few more than that, at a world yo-yo competition. And I know that he sold all 35 of them. So for all I know, there could be one of these on every continent in the world. They could be all over the world, but I have one of them. I don't know where the other ones are. It's called the card. So if you want to Google it, you might find it online, okay? If you find that it's worth like a million dollars, will somebody contact me? Because I, you know, that'd be cool. Okay. Okay, now the yo-yo is assembled. My fans, look at how cool this thing is. It's called the card. Except there's, and it all fit in this little briefcase. Okay, now I need to put the string on it. You have to. Now watch. We think this yo-yo looks cool. The question becomes, is it right for you? Raise your hand if you think it's gonna be right for you already. You're like, I know I love that. 
I want that yo-yo. Well, guess what? You can't know how awesome it is until you try it. The thing about really cool looking yo-yos is sometimes they just look cool. So let's give it a throw. Pretty good. It doesn't come back. For some of you, that might be a deal breaker. If you know how to do a bind, maybe it's good. Now here's the real cool part. See these discs? They spin like fidget spinners. You don't have to throw the yo-yo to make it go. You can literally be sitting and throw the yo-yo. Ready, check it out. Ready, watch it. Rock the baby, ready. Extreme baby rocking. 3D baby. Got you again. I was once on a plane and I pulled it out. I pulled out the, 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 the little case and someone was like, what are you doing? And I was like, work. And then I started practicing. I couldn't throw it because I was in a plane. So I did this. I got it going, and I was like, mm -hmm. pretty cool, huh? And I was like, <laughs> The person looked behind me, and I was like, no, I didn't like it. And I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. How do I fix it? They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, putting you under a spell. Okay. So anyways, this yo-yo is pretty awesome, I have to agree, but this yo-yo, if you can't make a yo-yo come back, might not be right for you, but I will say, this yo-yo is a good yo-yo for my collection, and um, it's also my fancy yo-yo. So, I think in every friend collection, you said you should have a fancy friend, they really spice things up a little bit, right? How many of you have like kind of a fancy friend, kind of a, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, cool, get one in your collection if you don't have one. All right, let's put this into place three, and here we go. Perfect. Magic. Now for the difficult friend. How many of you have a friend that somehow made it into your collection and you have no idea how? You're like, I don't even remember. I don't remember acquiring you. How, why are you here? Sometimes that happens. That's this yo-yo right here. Now I want to let you know, in my thousand yo-yos that I have, this is one of my favorite yo-yos, even though this yo-yo is my difficult one. Let me explain. This yo-yo was one of the early yo-yos that I got in my collection because I thought it did something that it didn't. So when I finally got to throw the yo-yo, I was disappointed. Let me explain. This is called the brain. Look at the, uh, look at the components inside of it. It's cool. It's called the brain. So I had already learned how to throw a sleeper, and I was looking to do a really cool trick. So when I got this yo-yo, I threw it, and it bounced right back. I threw it again, bounced right back. I'm like, wait a minute, I need a yo-yo that can do the sleeper. <clears throat> Nothing. I dropped it, look, bounced right back. I'm thinking, this yo-yo isn't right for me. This isn't right for me. I think I made a mistake. And then all of a sudden, I looked at the directions that the yo-yo came with. I opened, the, the, I opened up the directions and I read, these springs only release when you throw the yo-yo at a certain speed and then it will sleep. Once the yo-yo slows down, it will climb the string automatically. That's why they call it the brain. I didn't know that. I'm like, this is lame. What? I can only do this so long. Then finally I learned I wasn't throwing it right. I wasn't playing with it the way it needed to be played with. I didn't read the manual, so I throw the yo-yo with the right speed, all of a sudden, yo-yo's sleeping. Then I waited for a while. Wait for it. Keep waiting. See that? You see, I'll, I won't throw it so hard, okay? Wait for it. Now, ah, uh, yeah, now do you think I'm pulling it or do you think it's coming up automatically? You believe me? Okay, because here's, you, come here, you, come on up. You do it, come, come with me, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, you can do this. Because I looked at you and you're like, eh, I kind of believe you. Come on over. What's your name? Alec. Alec, right, Alec, okay, we met. You're taller in real life. <laughs> like, in a week you're gonna be taller than me. Good dog but I have a beard. <laughs> All right, come here. All right, here we go. Alec, are you righty or lefty? Yeah, you ready? Put your right hand out like this, yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna put the yo-yo on, on your finger here. Just get ready to catch it when it comes back. You're an athlete, this'll be good. Okay, ready? You don't have to be ready, don't worry. Just don't forget to breathe. Okay, don't pull it, just wait for it to come back. And once it comes up, just catch it when it comes back. Dude, you look like you just did that. Like you look like you threw like a nasty sleeper. Oh, yeah, dude, you did it. That's, that's the whole reason why I wanted you to come up. So you could, you just wanna do spinny thingy? Go ahead, do it. Spinny thingy. All right, let's give Alec a big round of applause. Good job, dude, you did a good job. You raised to the occasion. I didn't know kids your age sweated. He's like, all of a sudden he gets up here, he's like, I don't think I wanna be up here. <laughs> okay, Alec, you did a good job. So here's what I did with my friends. I would say to my friends, guys, I know magic, and I would, there was a tack I had put in the wall, and my friends would come over, and I'd be like, guys, watch. I can make the yo-yo rise with my mind. And they're like, really? And I'd be like, Whoa. of course, I knew the secret. I'd hang it on the wall, and all of a sudden, I would step away from it, and I'd say some magic words. It would fly up, I'd catch it, and they'd be like, how did you do that? And I was like, I read the manual. So here's, my, here's the moral of the story. There might be some people in your lives that are in your friend collection that sometimes annoy you. Well, guess what? I have a tip. If you don't know how to get along with them, read their instruction manual. Okay? Good. And if they don't have one, sometimes play the way they like to play and they can play the way you like to play, and you'll find a happy medium, okay? All right, so that's yo-yo number four. We are just flying through this thing. Let's go, we've got one more yo-yo left. Okay, yo-yo number five. My favorite yo-yo of all of them. It's a yo-yo that's very normal. There's nothing special about this yo-yo. No, it looks totally like yours. Your yo-yo, you have like this, basically the same yo-yo, but this is the Raider. You have the Fireball. I love this yo-yo, but the thing is there's nothing flashy about it. There's nothing special about this yo-yo, just a normal yo-yo. Why do I like it so much? Well, because it, does, it plays exactly the way I like to play. It's comfortable for me. If someone says, do walk the dog, this yo-yo walks the dog like a champ. If someone says, do around the world, this yo-yo does around the world like a champ. Helicopter? Yeah. Oh, Texas cowboy? Whoa! That was ugly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was the ugliest trick I've ever done. Okay. All right, loop the loop. It can do it. Some people say, Brett, ooch, do shoot for the moon. Okay, totally. You've seen this one. It does shoot for the moon perfectly well, too. And believe me, it can give you an awesome bloody nose if that's what you're going for. That's why it's red. Yeah. Okay. Also, it does a great skyrocket, which you might remember from the last show. Into the pocket. <sighs> that was almost to the head. Into the Did you see that? Maybe at the end, maybe I'll do it at the end, when, when at the end of the show I can be blinded and be totally fine about it. Now here's the deal. This yo-yo, if put up against all these other yo-yos, might not win the prize for coolest looking yo-yo. But that's the point. If I could pick any one of these yo-yos that I could play with all the time, it'd be this one. The one that looks normal. The one that isn't flashy. The one that's not tiny and cute. It's just loyal, like your best friend. Raise your hand if you have a friend in your collection that you want to keep forever. My first friend. That's, it wasn't your first friend, that's cool, man. That's awesome, you're doing a good job. You still have your first friend. That's this yo-yo right here. All right, the one that does it all. All right, so now, if you guys have some requests, I can do a couple yo-yo requests, because this is my last time here before I go off to the, into the big world. Do you guys have any special yo-yo requests you'd like me to do? Uh, yes, you with the sparkles. Yeah, of course. Great. Thanks. Blindfolded. It pretty much is that. Trust me. Okay, so you want me to do rockets to the noggin? Okay, here we go. Here, do you want me to do one before I knock myself out? Yeah. yeah. The DNA. Ooh, DNA, that's that TikTok move that I don't know how to do, but check it out. I can do this one, which is almost as cool. It's called UFO. Do you see that? Yeah. That was kind of like the original DNA. It's kind of like that, except this person does like a finger spin, I think, with it, and he brings the string up over it. It's really cool, yeah. Yeah, mine's just called Tangled Mess. Mm -hmm. Check it out. 
Isn't that awesome? The light really does it some justice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Before I do the before I do the your trick, I'm gonna do a couple more before I. Okay. What about you in the back? Yeah. Uh, the the little guy next to you. And so then it like never comes back. It just like orbits the Earth. I like that. There wouldn't be any risk of me like getting it in my on my like head. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. No! That's a terrible idea! Hey, listen! What are you laughing at? Are you missing two front teeth? I can see that from here! I know, because you were like, well, because at home I was like, tooth fairy! Okay, all right. All right, what did I tell you guys about running with your eyes closed? Don't do it. You're guaranteed to run into a pole. Okay, yeah, you in the back row. Texas Cowboy. I'm going to use a different yo-yo only because, um, no, I'll use this yo-yo. It's my loyal yo-yo. Okay, here we go. Texas Cowboy. That's over the top and under the legs. Here we go. Over the top. There we go. That was way smoother. Not, not a great finish, but pretty good. Okay, one. You, go. Dog bite. Dog bite. Which angle? Yeah? Okay. Here we go. I haven't even done it yet. That's a nervous laugh is what that is. He's like, I hope this guy's okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Fluffy. Anyways, dog bite, total pro. <laughs> Gotta stop sticking my stomach out when I do that. <laughs> okay, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. All right, rockets to the pocket. Here we go. I'll try to shoot it up in the air and catch it in my pocket. No idea how this is going to work. So uh, hands up if you think I'm going to miss it. All right, hands up if you think I'm going to catch it. Really? Oh, my gosh. I love you so much. All right, here we go. Ooh, here we go. I found the sweet spot on the stage. Okay, here we go, Terry. This one's for you. Three, two. Oops. My mistake. Oh, yeah. Okay. Terry, this one's for you. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. But really, it was for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's put it into uh, its place of honor. And uh, let's see. Is that where? What are we doing here? Where are we in my notes? Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's it. So we put it here and we celebrate. Okay, so here are the five. These are the five out of my whole collection. We've got, of course, the original. Now these are just five of my yo-yos in my collection. You, what I love about them is they're all different and they all work well for me. But like I said at the very beginning of the show, you can't know how great anything is until you try it. You can't know how great a book is until you read it. You can't know how great a yo-yo is until you take it for a spin. And most importantly, you can't know how awesome someone is until you try them out. They're a lot like yo-yos. So my suggestion and my hope is that the next time you see someone who you might have judged a certain way, that you look at them and you go, you know what, hey you, come over here, hang with me. Let's give this thing a, sh let's give this thing a shot because you never know, you might find your next best friend. Okay, let me check the time real quick because this is one of my quick shows. Yeah, 7.56, we have four minutes left. All right, question in the back. I don't usually do questions and answers, but ask me anything. What was that last part? What about them? Are you, sorry, gosh, I'm getting old. Who, who does? How many of you here collect Pokemon cards? I have You're so not alone, that's amazing. I have some in my pocket. I can prove it. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did you even fit those in? It's a tiny pocket. Who are you? Okay, wait. Remember my brother that I dropped the hell on? Wow. Yeah, he collects Pokemon cards too. What's up? Yeah. He almost has all of them. All of them? He took a collectible all day, pretty literally, didn't he? Okay. 
All right, Cherry, check this out. You ready? Here we go. Uh oh. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, so guys, I'm sorry. This is a slightly. Ah, oh, yeah. This, this is kind of a sloppy show, but like I don't know. It's kind of fun. I had a good time. But I hope you. I hope you got the moral of the story because that's really important. Okay. So let's quickly review everything we've. What? Hello. Oh, what's a question for me? Here, let me come out to the catwalk. Wow, that's a really good question. She said, she said, if she wants to make a new friend and she wants to kind of make her presence known, but she doesn't have something like a yo-yo that's gonna get people's attention, I have one. I think it's very understated, but I think these days, starting off with a smile is the very first step because it's so different than what we see on a daily basis, especially as an adult. You go to a cafe, no one's looking. They're all down here. But if you're the one who comes in and you're kind of like, wow, that person looks kind of cool. When they look at you, just give them like a little smile, maybe a little shrug. Kids, I'd say the same for you. You want to make some new friends? Start with a smile because this is so powerful. I was at the mall today and I was walking around doing my experiment and just kind of like randomly smiling. Not creepy, but like, you know, just like a random like, you know, not like. And it felt really good because when someone smiled back, I was like, oh my gosh, that person saw me. For real. Yes, what's up, dude? Well, I'm gonna get a yo-yo too. You wanna get a yo-yo or you have one? Are you really? Cool, so that means, you're, is this gonna be your first yo-yo? So guess what? You're starting a new collection. That's pretty cool. Can I tell you where to get a yo- Oh yeah. Can I tell you where to get a yo-yo? Parents, I want you to know that um, I don't typically, I don't sell yo-yos at my shows, I, but I know kids typically want to know where you can get yo-yos. So I have a friend uh, who owns the best yo-yo website in the world. And the name of that website is called yoyoexpert.com. And here's the best part. You don't have to be an expert to go there. You just have to like yo-yos. So go to yoyoexpert.com. His name is Andre. And he has, I think he's got a code, like a, like a, like a discount code for 10%. I think it's Ooch2022, it uh, yoyoexpert.com. Now parents, he sells yoyos in different categories. So if, you're, if your kid is a beginner or you're a beginner, you can look at the beginner yoyos. He's got intermediate, advanced, and you're gonna be surprised with how expensive some of these yoyos can get. But kids, I have to tell your parents, you can get a really good yo-yo for like $15, $20. As a matter of fact, the yo-yo I use for the majority of my shows is this one right here. It's called the Velocity. V-E-L-O-C-I-T-Y, Velocity. This is like a $15 yo-yo, and I use it in all of my shows. It's one of my favorites. It's my other best friend. So again, yo-yo expert's a great place. And if you ever visit Western Mass, that's where they're located. There's a really cool science and learning store called A to Z Science and Learning. He owns that store too. So if you ever go there, that's where you can also get yo-yos. What other questions do you have? I mean, I can answer pretty much anything. Yeah. So you have six collections. Do I? Yeah. Tell me more. Because you said you had five. You have six. I have a thousand. Why are they up there? What? Well, because I couldn't bring the whole house. That's a lot of yo-yos. Uh, sparkles, yes. What's that? I have a dog? Yeah, a real dog? No, no. But my brother, who I dropped the helmet on his head, does. He, it's re he's really cute, his name's Bosch. Uh, sorry guys, I was gonna like say good, good night, but it was like 100 questions coming now, so get comfortable. Uh, you with the stripes, the mask. Wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> well, Pokemon cards, I own a pretty awesome Rainbow Rare GX. Yeah, how many, I, yeah. For some reason, I actually managed to get them in a random 10 pack of Pokemon cards. That is super lucky, let's give him an aw, yeah. Aw, yeah. Hey, can I have it? No, okay, it's cool. Uh, yeah, dude. Alec. Out of your thousand yo-yos, which one is your favorite? 
Uh, it's between that red one spinny. and this red one. Spinny thingy. Spinny thingy. All right, let's take one more and then we'll call it. We'll call it a night. Yes. Uh, how many how many companies does your friend? Have? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, two. He owns the website and he also he owns the store, the toy store. Yo Yo Expert. All right. A to Z science and learning. Yeah, exactly. Man, he's gonna he's gonna get a lot of business. All right, I'll take the last one as you over there, dude. Do you seriously have a thousand yo-yos? Yeah, I have approximately a thousand, probably more. It's uh yeah, it is. I know. It's uh I say you can never have enough. All right, fine, you and then we're out of here. That is a great question. Where do I store all the yo-yos? Because I know what you're thinking. You think it's like in a closet at home, right? And then I like open the door every day and it's like <laughs> I have a storage unit <laughs> that I had to like rent to put all my yo-yos in. Because <laughs> you know, because I'm a pro. <laughs> I feel like Kermit the Frog right now. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to ooch with a splash, a snap, a clap, a clap, a snap, a clap, and a snap, okay? Maybe a chicken clap. We're going to have an ah, yeah, and we're going to call it a night. I want you to definitely scan those QR codes because it has all the review material from all of the shows that you've seen, and I think it's great that we get these conversations going at home and we use some of these tools because between positive spin, how to make a mistake in the collection, you guys have got it made. Here we go on three. One, two, three. Ooh. With a snap, a clap, a clap, a snap, a clap, a snap. Chicken flap, baby. And an oh yeah. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you, everybody. Scan those QR codes.